Time to check on our Monday forecast with meteorologist TJ Del Santo and the story today TJ sounds like any ways to keep an eye on these changing temperatures. Yeah, temperatures outside uh, are fairly mild. You walk outside and it's like, ah, I don't really need the uh, winter weather gear. Well, you're probably going to need it later in the day. We're talking wind chills in the teens, actual temperatures in the 20s. So uh, very changeable weather day for today. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. It's quiet across Rhode Island and Massachusetts, but we have been watching this little batch of showers out across Connecticut. It briefly moved into uh, southwestern Rhode Island into westerly in Charlestown and Richmond and Route 95 might be a little wet, but I'm not expecting any big problems uh, weather wise this morning. We've had a warm front working its way through southeastern New England. Temperatures uh, to the south of this front in the 30s and 40s, but just to the north of it in the 20s in Worcester, 31 in Boston. Look at Willimantic, 23 degrees. That warm front will try and lift through that part of the world, bring it into the 30s and 40s there a little bit later in the morning. Let's get a look at the Live city cam picture and we've got cloudy skies. We've got dry conditions, but it's quite mild. Look at that. 42 degrees at Picasso Bay Retirement Living in Johnston. Now the satellite radar picture is showing lots of clouds around, a little bit of uh, precipitation trying to work its way through Rhode Island and nearby Massachusetts. And we'll see a few rain or snow showers, I think, during the course of the morning hours. But the front is back in here. You see the snow showers just out ahead of it. We're going to be seeing this warm front lifting northward a little bit more during the course of the morning. And then the cold front comes on through during the afternoon, an Arctic blast blast will be arriving during the PM hours today. Let's first track the clouds and precipitation. Here we are around nine o'clock this morning with some rain and snow showers trying to come on through. I think probably just some uh, plain old rain showers throughout the late morning and into the early afternoon. Might be a couple of wet snowflakes mixed in. And then we are around five o'clock this evening. The snow and rain showers gone. And then into the uh, overnight, our skies clearing out, waking up to sunshine tomorrow morning and sunshine for the afternoon, but a bitter cold day on the way for tomorrow. Let's track the temperatures. Here we are around noontime today. Not too bad by January standards, 30s and into the lower 40s, but look what happens by late afternoon after the front comes on through. Temperatures in the upper 20s, winds will be gusting to 30 miles an hour, so feel like temperatures will be down into the teens later today and overnight tonight. Temperatures down to the single digits and teens across the area and throughout the day tomorrow, we're looking at high temperatures only around 19 to 20 degrees. So for this afternoon, upper 30s, early to mid afternoon, but these temperatures again will be falling into the upper 20s by late in the afternoon. So 38 Riverside, 38 Warwick likely down to around 30 degrees or so by evening along the South Shore, 40 degrees from westerly to Charlestown over into Newport with the winds 25 miles an hour with some higher gusts up in Northern Rhode Island dropping temperatures. These are the early to mid afternoon temperatures falling into the 20s by evening with gusty winds. It'll feel more like the teens at times 38 in Fall River, 39 degrees in Taunton. These temperatures will be dropping through the uh, late afternoon and evening as well. Seven day future cast paints a very cold day for tomorrow. Same for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Temperatures recover a bit. Mix of rain and snow on Saturday. Right now, Super Bowl Sunday looks dry around here. 36 degrees with a blend of sunshine and clouds. You can get the updated future cast from our website. That's at WPRI.com.